today. From State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, this is the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals versus Aaron Rodgers and the New York Jets. Some of those in the silver-haired community would say it's a great day for golf, and it is, don't get me wrong, but we say it's a great day for football, and the roof is wide open here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. to get us started and off we go on EA Sports now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone and he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22 the Cardinals offense heading out and they do so behind Kyler Murray their dynamic quarterback in his sixth season now from Oklahoma and now that he's back at full health they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there are many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. play from scrimmage here's Murray that's to the sideline and incomplete it's own defense right away here defensively and I know that these linebackers and DBs are going to be tested throughout they passed the first test though this one falls incomplete here's second and ten here's Murray and oh, right away, he lost the football. And it's scooped up by the Jets. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. So he went out of the pocket left, and then things got dicey. And what often happens is when they get outside, they want to keep their eyes downfield in order to try and complete a pass. But when they try to make a play, they've got to get their footwork involved. And that can really mess them up as well. And in this case, nothing went right, and the ball got knocked free. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's taken down at the 7 after a gain of 7. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? The guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up 7 yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Rodgers now to throw. Touchdown, Jets! Tyler Conklin, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game.
Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. They had the short field, and they made quick work of it. Just two plays to get into the end zone. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. carry for James Conner and not much to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 yeah things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line a lot of bodies not much space I think ultimately he was fortunate to get anything out of that run the last play got just a yard here's second and nine from the 26 there's Murray finding his target it's Trey McBride and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid game to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. And the Jets, D, they call on a couple extra defensive backs on third. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. 15 yards that time, and the Cardinals move the chains. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Murray from midfield and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends again get right up on them and stay physical and that paid off on that play helping force that incompletion after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten to throw it's Murray he's got McBride here over the middle That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. So he fought off the tackle, and that effort gives him the first before he's brought down. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that, get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Murray a give, this is Connor. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. 
But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Second and seven. Murray going to throw. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. From the gun, Murray. And this will be swung out here for Connor. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. Murray now on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that's one way you take away a first down as a defender. Make sure you have a little bit of physical play when the ball gets to the receiver. Find a way to jostle it free. They caught him off guard, forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Shotgun now for Murray. He's got his tight end, McBride, on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Murray. The quick slant caught. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. A gain of seven that time, second goal. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens... And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner taking it in from two yards out. And the Cardinals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in and have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. They kick it away. Escapes the defender. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. They'll start on the ground. Hall, they'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down at the 28. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Rodgers to throw on second down. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 7-7, our score after one. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Rodgers. Flushed out right. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Now second and three. On second down, a run with Hall. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. They'll come up now third and three. From the gun, it's Rodgers. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 45-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Rodgers. Open man here is Conklin. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. From the 41, here's a second and five. To throw, it's Rodgers. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Chris Barnes. And the Cards are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Let's go, come on! Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10.
Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He'll find his rookie wideout from Ohio State here. Now he is out of bounds inside the 35. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. Second and ten. On the counter, it's Connor. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. And this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. That is caught and brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. 18 yards the game for number 18. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. So first and 10 now from the 30. They run behind center with Connor. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Nice chunk of yards at first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down and six now from the 26. Now Murray. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. This is what defensive coaches ask of their defenders every single ball game get a hand on every throw in coverage. They want the deflections. They want the knockaways. Pick it yourself if you can, but at least knock it down and guarantee it's incomplete. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Murray now. He shakes him off. And he will slide to a halt with a penalty marker down on the play. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? To throw is Murray. Open man here is Benson. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game.
Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. This one fielded in the end zone. He'll opt not to bring it out. A touchback, and they'll begin at the 30-yard line. And New York set to take the field. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. Forced out to his left. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. Powering his way forward, and he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. Now it's second and ten. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He'll get this to Lazard, and he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. again now that one taken in by Corley now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half this second and four Rodgers going to throw. This complete to Corley. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 26. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. 
Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hall. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Seems as if the passing attack's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield, they're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. That is caught at the seven yard line. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we reach halftime here in Glendale with the Cardinals on top. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We watched the veteran James Conner put together a very solid first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. This is a game, Charles, that's been fairly starved for offense. Really not much in that first half. We'll see if they can get something going here as we look toward the third quarter. And not just a chance to finally get a little more offense going, but to erase that small deficit they currently trail by. I think they'd send a pretty powerful message to the opposite sideline if they drive it right down the field coming out of the half. Well, Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll look to throw. Over the middle and complete to Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. A give running right is Hall. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and one. On play action, Rodgers. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Rodgers to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 
So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throwing now is Rodgers. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. So give him two yards there on the completion at its second down. One-handed. Love the effort. Not much production on that play, though, huh? Not a whole lot of yardage. You get that grab, you probably want a first down. And he'll be the one in the film session and be saying, hey, run that one back, Coach. Yeah. Run that one back. One more time. Let's see that Two again. More time. And they won't. Eight more times. They won't. Didn't get much out of it. From the 20, here's the second and eight. Now it's Rodgers. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Zavin Collins. He's the culprit dropping him for a two-yard loss. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. They trot out their dime package for third down. <laughs> Throwing is Rodgers. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown from 21 yards away. And the Jets have retaken a third quarter lead. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver. And that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Zerline now for the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. So the drive there took six plays, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. They start the drive with Connor. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. 
Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Here's second and seven. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Over the middle, complete. It's McBride. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. 53 the mark, 53, check 53. <laughs> Throwing now is Murray. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six and it'll be second down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. On second down, Connor looking for space. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 43 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Murray giving to Connor on the draw. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Phoenix, Arizona is the spot. Glad to have you along for the ride. Third quarter action and a second and 10 upcoming. Meanwhile, Murray's throw completes to McBride. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. Murray has it knocked loose. Fumble. There he goes, right side. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Now Zerlein on and the extra point. It's good and it's 21-10. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown.
So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Second and 10. Murray now to throw. Screen pass to Connor. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Murray. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Murray. Wilson's got it complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. But there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. From the 35, here's the second down and six. To throw, it's Murray. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. On first and ten, here's Murray. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. He will push his way down to about the 14. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Second down and eight. Murray gonna throw. 
On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. And the Cardinals are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Here we go, first and goal. The carry here for the big tight end. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get your reset. They've got it second and goal as they look for a late touchdown. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. From the gun, Murray. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like... Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, it doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> so certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Back to throw. Murray. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. the touchdown out is Prater to kick from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21 the New York set to take the field and this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. Got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll go again with Hall. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. There's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead, a give to Hall up the middle. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
Third down and six. To throw is Rodgers. Oh, leaping, and he makes the grab. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals 21. Well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Take a knee as the clock ticks down toward 50 seconds to go. Rogers will take a knee here, and that should be all she wrote. finish in this one Charles you know this group they come in they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap they get the late score they get the victory and that flight home it's going to be a little sweeter after this one and Brandon just like you I was fired up for that last sequence how about that wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game winning drive big time moment no one shied away from it they tuned out the crowd kept their heads and executed the way they needed to to earn that win So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.